I'm Bryony. I'm a vocal improviser. I'm a singer. I teach, I perform, I record. And instead of singing anything that's been composed before by me or anyone else, to improvise is to really stand in the emptiness of the moment. And music of right now comes. And you give voice to the music of right now, and I do that alone and with others. So I was studying with Bobby McFerrin in upstate New York when I first heard collaborative vocal improvisation. It was five or six people all improvising with their voices at once together. It was Rhiannon, and Dave, Joe, Bobby, and a couple of other people. And my jaw just hit the floor. I was like, what are you doing? How are you doing this? This is an ocean. I'm a whale. I just have to get in here and swim here forever. And that was, that was almost 10 years ago. And yeah, I've been swimming. <laughs> Folk improv is like a river that goes down through the rocks and into the the deeper groundwaters of the of the human and the truths of your heart and soul it makes it terrifying for people but also then very powerful for a kind of liberation that's wider and wilder than often the template that the music industry gives singers, you know, be sexy sell records. There's nowhere else in my life that I've been allowed to just completely let anything that wants to come, come. And just that total uninhibited and total permission, really, to just explore any aspect of myself and my voice, you know, at the same time. As a songwriter, you know, music can get too serious and too you know, it's all about the performance or it's all about, you know, how good is the song or, you know, and it's forgetting how we can be in community and, and just the, the raw pleasure of making music together. Improv is hard, like your chops need to be good. If your chops are weak, by chops I mean your competency with rhythm, harmony and melody. If your skills with that are weak, you can only do so much with improv, so it's pretty thrilling for an ambitious singer. Every major has a relative minor. The way that Brian is teaching uh, this sort of art form is, is great because it's such a blended approach. Um, so you do get that kind of musicianship side, and that is so important if you're trying to make improvised music together, like that we can all be steady on our, our choice of notes or that we can kind of find the groove together and all of that kind of stuff. I've got a good ear. I've always, always you know, understood music well and harmony and things like that. So doing some of the music theory and understanding the scales and modes and different harmonic structures and things like that has been incredible and it's definitely informed my music writing. Particularly as a singer, it's often, or well, I've always felt like a bit disconnected from what's happening kind of musically. You know, it's like I'm adding a bit of spice on the top, or, you know, and this has allowed me to really engage with what's happening musically. So within a group, I'm like, okay, this is what's going on harmonically, and, and this is how I could add a bit of spice in, and that's been a revelation as well. Vocal improvisation is a powerful community weaver every time. The relationships between the group and between the students and I are a deep and tender. People say it's like family or like a family they've never had. In the end, I'm holding their musical growth and at the same time, their personal growth. It's a responsibility and an honor. So it's felt like such a supportive community to come into and just the atmosphere which I think is really it's highly influenced by Bryony and how she is. The atmosphere is just so supportive and loving and 
open and that's kind of allowed me then to feel like oh I can explore any aspect of myself in this space. Briony facilitates a really amazing space of openness um, and safety and I think that, that as a group that's something we've all kind of um, fallen into and we've really been there for each other and that's kind of increased as the year has gone on and, and kind of accelerated and, and uh, I've heard that as well in people singing that as we've given each other more support um, that our singing voices have grown. I feel like Bryony has a really special way with people. I always feel so respected by her, you know, and I feel like she always takes a positive view and a kind of wide, broad view of a person. Who's this woman? Who's this free spirit who can just, you know, explore all these parts of herself, you know, without shame or fear? Or, and I think on a, on a thinking level, I was thinking, oh, I want to learn how to sing like that, you know, but I think maybe on a subconscious level, I was thinking, how can I be like that? I have people of all ages, when they try this for the first time, they say, oh my God, why am I only trying this in my 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, some of them. I had a woman say, oh, I wouldn't have been expelled from school if we'd have had this in school. But the point is that students at every level from people whose voices aren't even quite with them yet to music graduates to professional performers are falling in love with vocal improvisation when they try it and then they're, they're asking me to take them further into it. It's really been a discovery of my own true voice that's not dictated by somebody else's song that's been written, it's not dictated by singing something or teaching something or being part of a tradition. It's really been about like what wants to come through me. It cuts deep, all of that stuff, you know, it really touches people and it's so... And a lot of the, the audience said it was so empowering to see us right there in our vulnerability doing that, you know, it's like, God, I want to do that, you know? I think I came onto this point thinking really just about music, thinking just about my voice. How can I, you know, expand the, you know, the variety of my voice and musicality? And, and it's been a lot more than that because the voice is a, a metaphor in a sense for, or my singing is a metaphor for my soul. You know, it's like, um, so in freeing my, my my singing voice, I feel I can free myself more.